Hi everybody! So welcome to my week um, 31 and 32 vlog. I am finally back from Colorado. Had an amazing trip. Um, also I wanted to say that uh, this is my first vlog with my new camera. The other camera I was using was just like the movie feature on my digital camera. So this one um, should be a lot better quality. So hopefully you guys can hear me and see me a lot better than you could before. Oh, hi, Bean. Um, so my trip to Colorado, our trip to Colorado was so much fun. A very much needed break from school and everything. Um, while we were out there, got to meet some of Derek's uh, extended family members that I haven't met before. Um, as some of you may have already seen in that video I posted, um, we went to lunch with his family members and uh, when we got there we realized that they were throwing us like a mini baby shower. So there was a cute little cake and they had just a few gifts for us and we just left we left Colorado with just like a ton of new really cute outfits for Jackson. And my real baby shower um, is next weekend. So um, yeah, that came fast, didn't it? Uh, what else? Also, while we were out in Colorado, we decided to get a 3D 4D ultrasound done while we were out there. So we went to this place called First View Ultrasound and uh, we got a ton of cute pictures of him. And he... Last time we did a 3D ultrasound, he was 17 weeks, so, um, yeah, he looks a ton different now. You can see his cheekies, his little chubby cheekies, so much better. And I'll actually do just a separate video. Um, I'll show, like, some clips from the DVD and all the pictures we got. Actually, I'll just show you one of them. Um, for now, I'll just show you, like, a couple of them. My two favorites. Okay. So here's a couple see his face really well. How cute is he? <laughs> um, I know I'm, you know, obviously his mother, so I'm biased, but um, I think he's just gorgeous. He's a gorgeous little boy. So there are those. Um, we can't really tell who he looks like actually right now because some shots he looked like my husband and some he looked like me, so excuse me. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but I know in my last video I had talked about having Charlie horses and um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who, um, you know, had suggestions and stuff that I could try. Um, many of you suggested that I try eating more bananas because um, sometimes you can get those muscle cramps because of a potassium deficiency. And <laughs> the, it was just really funny when I read those comments because, um, I don't know, over the last two months I've been craving a lot more fruit. And one of the fruits that I've been having at least one of a day is a banana. Some days I have two bananas, and so it was just like, the, the idea of eating any more bananas just made me giggle a little bit. But, um, I mean, yeah, that's a really good idea, though, as long as uh, my stomach can tolerate that. And then, um, also, um, I think probably what was more of an issue with me was probably de dehydration. I, you know, some days I'm better about getting all my fluids than others. And I've been doing a really good job lately, and I've only had muscle cramps really like once or twice in the last couple weeks. So it's not a huge problem. Oh, and um, another really good suggestion I got from you all was uh, to tilt my toes upward and also to stand up or put weight on my feet. Um, and I tried both of those, and both of those made my leg cramp stop immediately. So good suggestions. Thanks, everyone. Um, so on to symptoms over the last two weeks. Um, while I was out in Colorado, um, I started having ankle swelling, which is a new symptom for me. Yeah, some days it's worse than others. Another really cool thing I did out there, um, I got a prenatal massage from, um, one of Derek's family members. She does those. And it was really, really relaxing. And, of course, after she did it, the swelling went down in my feet. Um... But yeah, if you're pregnant and you have a chance to get one of those done, I totally recommend it. Um, they're just really nice. Or just, you know, make your husband do it. <laughs> That's their job. And then also during the ultrasound, um, the guy said that uh, the baby looks like he has some hair, pretty good hair on him. And he asked me if I had been having heartburn. And I was like, well, yeah, I have been. And he said that um, 
you know, that uh, women, <laughs> if you have a baby that has lots of hair, there's like a protein um, that results from the baby having so much hair that I guess gives the mom more heartburn. And I thought that was really interesting. I'd never heard that before. So, um, and that would totally make sense because, um, well, before I got pregnant, I never had heartburn, not once in my life. Um, I didn't even know what it felt like. And then, um, over the last two months, I'd get it occasionally, um, never often enough to need to take anything for it. But seriously, over the like, last two to three weeks, I've been getting it more and more often, and I pretty much get it every night now, no matter what, um, around 8 or 9 o'clock. Um, it doesn't matter what I eat, how much I eat, or when I eat, um, it, I, it happens. So, um, my doctor told me I could take Zantac 75 for it, and... Yeah, between that and Tums, that's what I take. I try not to take anything at all if I can help it, just because, I mean, that's how I feel about it. But um, if I have to take something, I will. Oh, and one thing I did want to talk about, um, I wasn't sure if I was going to mention this or not, but um, I wanted to talk about some comments I got from one person in particular on my last video. Um, these were obviously really hateful, really cruel things to say to any pregnant woman. Um, and so before I go off on this rant, I just want to let you know that this is not directed to, um, you know, the majority of you. I have the most amazing viewers and subscribers and you all are just so supportive and so sweet to me. And, um, my, my frustration here is not directed towards those of you who are good people. Um, it's just really directed towards this one person in particular um, who basically took it upon themselves to list all these things that, all the reasons why um, why I look like shit now, to put it lightly, because uh, they don't like my hair, my face is fat, I've gained too much weight, and I've let myself go um, since I've been pregnant, and just all this really, really mean things that, um, you know, every pregnant woman loves to hear, I'm sure. Obviously, this person's an idiot and had no place saying those things to me, but also it's just like, I just want to say, you know, I know I'm aware of the fact that my, you know, I'm getting puffier in the face. I'm aware of the fact that I'm gaining weight. It's like, no shit, people. I'm pregnant. Like, what did you expect? So, um, I just wanted to say to anybody out there who felt the same way that this person does, um, please don't watch my videos and please don't comment on my videos. I'm not, I don't make videos for people like that. I'm going through with this pregnancy because I'm nurturing my son and growing him and growing our family and I'm not doing it for anybody else but me and my family. So, um, if you don't like the way I look, tough shit. Um, I don't owe anybody anything and if, I mean, if you want to tell somebody how they should dress and and what they should wear and how they should do their hair, just go buy a Barbie doll. I'm, I mean, I'm not your Barbie doll. So, that's all I had to say. Um, I'm, I'm leaving those that person's comments up, so in case you want to see for yourself what a freaking psycho they are. Um, I've already given them my response and blocked them, so they won't be bothering me anymore, but... Um, you still might want to just check out and see who it is, so um, in case you're pregnant, you can block them before they have a chance to leave any rude comments on your videos or whatever. Okay, I guess that's pretty much it. Let's do my belly shot. <laughs> and with this shirt up. And my belly button is starting to pop out on the top here, which looks kind of funny. So, oh, there we go. Oh crap, I totally forgot. Um, we have our 32 week doctor's appointment tomorrow, um, which is really exciting because after tomorrow we go every two weeks till I'm 36 weeks, and then after that we go once a week till my due date. Um, so that's exciting, and then we have our hospital tour on Wednesday. And like I said before, our baby shower is next Sunday, so, um, 
yeah, I'm going to have at least one video coming this week, maybe two. Two or three, actually. Yeah, I'll just see you guys later. Bye, everyone.